All right, welcome back to another video. Today, I got something for the truck. And by today, I mean like last week. This truck, you guys saw the video on it, didn't do too well. Don't worry, I'm not mad. I can't expect a BMW audience to be interested in some 20 year old GM vehicle, but just to preface videos in the future about the truck, I'm not gonna do videos on every little thing like I do with this car. I mainly take all the footage, bunch it up, and make a few videos instead of making this 50, 60 videos, me building the truck, call it five, 10, 15 maybe. And as I stated in the reveal video, the plans for this aren't that extravagant, so I, I don't plan to make that many videos on the truck. But if you're interested in some GM stuff, drop a comment down below, just so I know that you're there. And uh, anyways, let's get into what I got. So it's really rare for me to leave a vehicle alone for more than a couple months. I've had this truck, I think going on three months, maybe almost, yeah, I think around three months. And it does not have wheels and tires yet. And that was one of the things where I said, oh, I'm not gonna get it immediately, but let me show you this. So here she is, right? Stock as can be. Only thing I've done is the exhaust and the Apple CarPlay with the speakers and stuff. But aside from that, this truck is as stock as it gets. Now I was actually considering putting 33s, or 35, sorry, on the stock wheels for now and letting these uh, ugly stock wheels just ride for a little bit longer. But I think that's kind of a waste of money. Plus, when you look at this tire, there's like no life left on that. It's pretty much corded and they're a little dry rotted. Now the last thing I want to happen is pop a tire on the freeway due to my negligence. So this truck needs new tires. But why on earth would I go out of my way to just buy tires when I can get wheels and tires? I mean, it just makes absolutely no sense. So anyways, um, here we are. If you know me, you know I have a Facebook marketplace addiction and sometimes it works out in my favor. Like in this instance, I found a great deal on these wheels and tires. Let me preface everything by saying I did not mean to buy wheels this big or I didn't intend to. I knew what I was getting myself into but until I saw them in person and loaded them into the truck and then when I test fitted them on the truck, I now know this is a bold move for this truck. How are these wheels and tires gonna fit? on a stock heights truck well tomorrow it's going to get leveled and these wheels and tires are going to be put on the truck so just so you know how big these are these are 20 by 12 fuel flow eights i believe they're called they have like a negative 43 offset they're on toyota open country so they're actually on some good tires and there's plenty of life left on the tires the wheels are actually pretty much brand new there's one little wheel with a tiny bit of rash and i can't even find it right now that's how little it is but these are pretty big. Like I said, they're the 305, 55. So they're really big. You could go a lot less sidewall and that's normally what people do on the 20 by 12s, but I don't love the rubber band look. I'm just hoping that I can pull this off the level. It's one of those things where I bought them if they don't fit on the truck or if I absolutely hate how wide they stick out, I can sell them for more than I purchased them for. So it's no, no harm, no foul. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I'll probably not keep them that long. So yeah, I gotta get these in the truck because I'm taking it to get the level installed as well as the wheels and tires, the alignment. I'm just gonna have it all knocked out. If it was something you guys really wanted to see, like E36 stuff, I film it, I do it all myself. This, I have no problem spending a little bit of extra money for the convenience of it just being dropped off and picked up, ready to go. understand how big these things are so a weird thing about these wheels is when I went to go buy them I didn't know what they were called the seller didn't know what wheel model it was either um, I looked at the back of the wheels I plugged the serial number into Google I could not find them on Google anyway or anywhere and I posted in the Silverado Facebook group of all places and within a minute somebody knows exactly what they are these wheels seem to come only in 20 by 10 for the six lugs. However, these are 20 by 12s and they are indeed six bolt, six lug Chevy, whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah, I find it kind of weird that these happen to be 20 by 12s. Everything else I could find on the internet was a 20 by 10. So I don't know if that's cool or if that sucks because I test fitted them 
12 wides are really big. Wish me luck tomorrow and uh, hopefully we won't have to do too much trimming, but I'll check in tomorrow. All right, so I just got the truck back and I'm looking at the truck now. The wheels are on. I'm gonna show you these. Pretty nuts. These are the 20 by 12s that you just saw. They're now mounted on the truck. The truck is now level. Um, we're gonna go on a drive and I'm gonna show you more in depth so we don't just look at it in the driveway. All right, so I'm sure everybody is wondering because there's not a lot of videos on YouTube of people with the 20 by 12s driving around and really talking about them. Uh, you're definitely gonna rub a ton, so keep that in mind. If you think you'll be able to get, get away with it with a leveling kit and not trim, you're gonna have to trim. A substantial amount to be honest this does rub against a lot of stuff and I'll show you in a second uh, it definitely rubs but it's not undrivable if you just trim some fender liner and shave the bumper a little bit you could probably get away with dailying this it would just kind of suck um, but it definitely rubs so just keep that in mind all right luckily got some cover from the rain let's quickly talk about these wheels and how they fit so in the back obviously they clear no problem you could almost just throw some drop shackles on the back and run a total squat if you wanted to. The rears fit no problem. Literally, you could put a lot bigger on here and you probably wouldn't run into issues. You can see there's plenty of clearance in between the wheel wells. Up front is a different story entirely. You're going to trim at least a little bit here. You could probably run this angle and trim out farther if you really wanted to, but the only point that that really rubs on the bumper is up here. I might clean it up a little bit and make it a little bit more of a cut, and I might start at the top so it almost doesn't look like it's cut at all. You'll also notice how much was trimmed over here. You're gonna have to take that out. I don't want it to sound like you couldn't run this lock to lock if you had to. You, you could, it would obviously rub, but I don't think you would be breaking anything. Now, I think I'm gonna have to use uh, some washers or something or relocate the washer fluid bottle because it definitely is gonna rub there. But aside from that, it doesn't rub that bad. Again, just keep in mind, you don't have to run a setup this big, especially with this tire. This tire kind of kills everything because I got these used on Facebook. I didn't get to pick the tires, right? Because that's how I bought them. So they're a 305.55, which almost makes this tire a 35 inch tire. If you wanted to be closer to 33s, you could just do a 50 side wall and you could honestly go even less if you wanted to, but I don't like the rubber band look. That's kind of why I'm stoked that these are as big as they are. It just makes them a little difficult to fit. Now, the other thing you could do if you needed to make more clearance is crank the keys up a little bit more. Obviously, this is a leveling kit. The torsion keys have been replaced, but there's still room to crank these if you wanted to. Only problem that presents itself there is once you do that, your upper control arm is kind of laying on the bump stock and then you have no suspension travel and the truck will ride, not great. So I would like to stray away from that as long as possible. I might do it just to give it a little bit of Cali lean, but we'll see. All right, let's get out and show you this thing. Here she is. Uh, it's super rainy outside. I don't mind. I think it's awesome that it's raining, finally. Um, here's about the poke you're getting. It seems like a majority of these 20 by 12s are like a negative 40, between negative 30 and 40 offset anyway, so just keep that in mind. From the front, you can see it looks pretty freaking aggressive. Go on the other side. Oh yeah, it looks super good. Oh man, I'm stoked. I'm, I'm really glad I did go with the bigger wheels here. I mean, that looks pretty freaking sweet. This is like the first time I've had a truck that actually looks kind of menacing. It looks, I almost want to come up with a name for this thing. I've never named vehicles, but this truck deserves a name. I'm gonna give it one. I don't know what we're gonna do, but it does. These wheels look great on this truck. I, I will have to say that. I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully if you're looking to put 20 by 12s on your truck, this has helped you. Um, there's not a lot of coverage on these MBS trucks, so 
we're gonna make these fit a little better but I'll get a proper video within the next couple weeks we're gonna go over this truck a little bit more and I'll get some nice cinematic pieces for you and we'll talk about more of my experience because really these truck these wheels have been on the truck for an hour so I don't really want to speak on anything until they've been on for a while we'll talk about gas mileage how much trimming I had to do how much rubbing there still is all that in another video thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you're interested in other truck or BMW content check out the channel and make sure to drop a comment just to let me know that you're there I have a somewhat growing audience somewhat big at this point for me uh, but don't feel like anybody's there so drop a comment and uh, yeah thank you guys so much for watching see you in the next one peace